I am determined to make the most of every moment I have left. After the midterm elections, my advisors asked me, Mr. President, do you have a bucket list? And I said, well, I have something that rhymes with bucket list. <laughs> All right, welcome to Gimme Five. You put an F there, and that's what rhymes with bucket list. And folks, that's the White House Correspondents Center over the weekend. If you think he's kidding, he's not kidding. He's making a joke about it, but he's not kidding. It's who he is, and it's how he's acted, and it's how he will act. They don't like it? Fuck it. He's making a joke about it, but it's coming from his heart. Watch. Take executive action on immigration? Bucket. <laughs> New climate regulations? Bucket. It's the right thing to do. Bucket. It's the right thing to do. Constitution? Be damned. I'm doing the right thing. Constitution, constitution. That's who he is. He's making a joke about it, but it, you, it's very telling. Very, very telling. Here's more. Uh, being president is never easy. I still have to fix a broken immigration system, issue veto threats, negotiate with Iran, all while finding time to pray five times a day. <laughs> Which is strenuous. And it is no wonder that people keep pointing out how the presidency has aged me. I look so old, John Boehner's already invited Netanyahu to speak at my funeral. <laughs> the praying five times a day was a good one. You, you, you decide why he elected to go there. I'm done analyzing. Uh, the Netanyahu joke was good. The Boehner-Netanyahu joke was good. More. A few weeks ago, Dick Cheney says he thinks I'm the worst president of his lifetime. <laughs> Which is interesting because I think Dick Cheney is the worst president of my lifetime. <laughs> Now, all over my control room, the people who are half my age are saying, wait a minute, Dick Cheney was president? No. But you see, the left used to accuse George W. Bush of being too stupid to be president, so Dick Cheney was really running things. Get it? All right. Now that I've explained that, uh, there you go. Um, here's more. For many Americans, this is still a time of deep uncertainty. Uh, for example, I have, a, I have one friend, just a few weeks ago, she was making millions of dollars a year, and she's now living out of a van in Iowa. <laughs> Spell that H-I-L-L-A-R-Y. Get it, Hillary? Well, she's not still in Iowa, and she's not living in the van, so it's a little, yeah, that was okay, it was okay. More. The Secret Service, thanks to some excellent reporting by White House correspondents, uh, they're really focusing on uh, some of the issues that have come up. And they finally figured out a foolproof way to keep people off my lawn. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> it works. And it's not just fence jumpers. Some of you know a few months ago a drone crash landed out back. That was pretty serious, but don't worry. We've installed a new state-of-the-art security system. <laughs> All right, we only have time for one more. Um, and this is him addressing CNN. On Saturday Night Live, Sicily impersonates CNN anchor Brooke Baldwin, which is surprising, because usually the only people impersonating journalists on CNN are journalists on CNN. <laughs> He then went on to talk about the solar vortex. Uh, the, the number on it was so low that they renamed it the MSNBC <laughs> vortex. That was pretty funny, too. All right, all in all, while Baltimore was in flames and burning down and people getting hurt and rioting, this was going on in the make-believe world. Your Newsmax Now updates next.